Hey there, you're watching Dance Ski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the color of a shape. We'll go from one color to another, to another with a nice smooth transition, all in Adobe After Effects. So let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in After Effects and the first thing to do is create a new composition and we can do this from the composition menu at the top and select new composition. I'm going to go with another 800 by 600 size, the same as a dribble shot. And I can call this tutorial, if I could type correctly, which I can't. Now the frame rate is 30, and the duration for this is 10 seconds. That gives us plenty of time to create our animation. The background color doesn't matter because we're going to be changing that anyway. So let's click OK. And you can see we have our new composition listed in the project panel, and we've also got it opened up down here. So the first thing we're going to do is select the rectangle tool, left click and drag to create a rectangle. And if we just twizzle down these options here for the rectangle path one, we can of course set the size to some specific dimensions. At the moment these proportions are constrained with the link icon, so if we adjust the width, the height will adjust accordingly. So let's uncheck that and we can independently set a width and a height. So we're going to go with the same dimensions as our composition, so 800 by 600. And then what I can do is I could manually drag this into position or from the align panel, we could just align this centrally. And you can see here I'm set to align any layers to the composition. If you don't see the align panel or any other panels that I've got open, just go to window and you can see them all listed here. So we now have a rectangle on our composition that is the same size as the composition. So let's just collapse that option there. And then we're going to twizzle down fill one. And you can see we can set the fill color here. So first of all, let's just make sure our playhead is right at the beginning of the timeline. And we're going to pick our starting color. So let's just go with a pinky red, something like this. There yeah, we go with a the pink. There we go, lovely. So that's going to be our starting color. Now we need to click the stopwatch icon. And what this does is you can see it adds a keyframe to the timeline. And we can scrub forward. Let's go for two seconds. You can see we are exactly on the two second mark just by looking up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add another keyframe. So just click this icon here. And we're going to scrub forward another two seconds. So you can see we're now at the four second mark. And I'm going to add another keyframe. Now we can use these little arrows here to navigate between the three keyframes that we've created. So the first one, that's this pink color. We're going to start with that, so that's absolutely fine. So we can click and it will take us to the second one. So now we are on that second keyframe. We can click on the color picker here and adjust the color. Now I'm just going to move this hue slider just down a little bit. So we're going to graduate into a purple and click OK. And then I'm going to navigate to the next keyframe. And we're going to go more towards a blue. And I can adjust the color of this blue until I'm happy here. And click OK. And you can see if I drag the playhead through these now, you can see that the color gradually changes as I scrub through it. And lastly, what you can do is you can click play from the preview panel or just press spacebar on the keyboard and it will play through your animation and you can see the color changing. And there we go. That's how to change the color of a shape all in After Effects. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. A huge thank you to the people who support me on Patreon. If you'd like to find out more information or become a patron, there is a link in the description. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.